it's Crash and Burn RC here today. Um, today I'm going to show you some airbrushing techniques on how to paint rivets and how to paint uh, some nozzles. You can see that from there. Some nozzles and some rivets. We'll go over showing you how to the technique used to uh, to do that. This plane here is an RC Power Sukhoi and uh, it's a buddy of mine, Steve. He's got a CNC machine, so he cuts everything with CNC tools. So uh, he said if I airbrush his plane, why then he'd cut me out uh, any plane I wanted. So I wanted the uh, the Alpha Jet. So I got I got my plans all cut out there. But I just didn't put it on foam to cut it out. He said he'd cut it for me and get it all ready as long as I uh, did a good paint job on this. So we're going to show you this tail end here that we did, top and bottom, and then. Uh, this part's done, but we got the whole rest of the plane to do. Let's take a look at it. Alright, today I am doing a paint job on this Sukhoi RC Powers. And uh, I got the top done. I kind of put a base coat of gray down. And then um, started here on the back wings with a riveted look. I'll show you how to do the riveted look as well as these uh, nozzles. And I went ahead and got started on the other side here and I messed up one side. I got this side messed up. This will be okay, but um, fortunately I have some gray base coat left over. So I'm just gonna get rid of what I did. And that's working on the nozzles. And um, we're looking good here. Let's see, we can probably throw in some shadows. Give me a black. There we go. It's working on this side. There it goes. A little blast. And give it some shadow. Help it, help it look like that three-dimensional look, I suppose. I don't want to lay down too much right now. Get some more on it later. I'm gonna hit the back of the nozzle. All dark black here. Pretty good for now. Probably add some more later. It'll come together. It'll come together. And waiting for this dry. So let's let this dry for a second and we'll get back to it right away. Sorry about that. My compressor came on. So we're back at it. We're going to get the straight edge going this way here, right in the middle. Where's the middle? Right about there. There's another one. Let's see, I need to fit one right in here about. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to go with that. Now, clean up the nozzle here. I'm going to fit. Shadow it up a little bit like that one here on the side. Turn down my pressure a little bit. That's tape right there. You want to get that because that's going to separate that from that. Make sure you get it kind of dark on there as we blend it in. On that side, let's try to blend it. See that? See the square right here? You're probably wondering what that is. That's when uh, uh, Steve, it's not my plane, painted it for somebody else. Steve was working on it and he put a piece of tape across the two um, elevons here, to, I guess to hold them in place. We got really sticky tape. And when he peels it off, it leaves a mark like that. 
Um, the best way to take care of that, if you don't already know, is when you grab a piece of tape, this one came off all jacked up. But you know, you put it on your clothing like this, you can put it on your t-shirt, you know, peel it off, and then it's not as tacky, and you can uh, put it on there and it'll stick, and there won't be any problem like that. So let's go back to the, getting the shadow going, and where, where did I leave off here? I'm just going to get them a little bit darker than what the what the plane is. There we go. Alright, darken this one up a little bit. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm darkening the shadows from outside to inside. I got this one a little dark. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna throw a little white down the center, kind of give it a reflection look. There we go, just a little bit. No, I don't know how well that's coming out on there, but you can, you can play with it. See how close you want to get. Okay, then we'll come back with the black. And we'll kind of deaden it up a little bit. But when I get this, when I get this nice and black too. tail piece there so all right so I think I think we're gonna be okay um, I think the other side turned out better but this is the bottom so it's not as drastic it's not as bad the unveil right here we go take this off take that off and I started taping it off over here but there we go with the nozzles looking pretty good but you can see, I'm not with this tape. I'm not ripping off any of the paint because I deaden the deaden the tape a little bit. Plus, this is a it's a water-based paint. Um, what I'm using right now is gray, or you know, and I got some uh, Createx opaque white, opaque black, and I mixed them together to get a gray. But I made I made enough that I have some left over in my bottle here. And that way I can just touch up anything that needs to be touched up. So next, we're going to move on to doing some um, rivets to try to get it to look similar to this side. Um, I don't know. I didn't. Usually I'll do the whole top, but today I'm going to I'm going to try doing the tail and on top and on the bottom. And we got a good run at it, so we'll be okay. Let's get on to uh, showing you how to do some rivets. We're gonna we're gonna jump into doing the uh, rivets here, and the way I do my rivets is kind of um, a variation on the way Ed Hubs does his uh, rivets. Now, and that's where I got my riveting technique from was Ed Hubs. Look him up on YouTube; he's awesome. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is mask it off to get some panel lines, and the way we do that is just I'm gonna follow the contour of all this and then I'm going to hit it right here on the outside line and we're going to mask mask everything on both ends just following the contour lines that part's going to be hard right here and I don't know how I want to do this part yet so I'm just going to I'm just going to rush through it right now and then stop the video and come back with it you know, all done. But following the contour lines is basically all you need to do, like this, all the way around. And then I'm going to have trouble in here, and I don't know what I'm going to do in here. Um, we'll see, because the uh, control horn. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Let me figure it out. We'll come right back. I'll finish the masking, and then we'll go from there. Okay, got it all masked up, both sides here. And let's focus in and I shall do 
We shall go for this one right here. All right. Now, all we got to do is grab the black and uh, tripod's in the way. Okay, black's ready. We're just going to go on the outside line of all of this, just like we did those nozzle pieces. I'm going to try to get these a little bit straighter here. I got the tripod in my way. Side here. Sorry, that one wasn't, that one wasn't the best. And the problem here is I got too close, um, but I think we'll be all right. And then um, this is this piece is actually going to be behind. The, the panel lines so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and just darken it up a little bit maybe kind of weathered look but just a little bit is definitely going to be noticeable so I don't need to do a whole lot right here all right now let's take a look at these panel lines I'm afraid of this little area right here but let's see what we got. If I can get my airbrush back in. Here we go. Come on, baby. And it's right there. That looks pretty good. So now, you know, like the other side, we're just going to lay our rivets down over there. Um, I'm going to do this side, and then we'll come back with the actual rivet itself. Okay, we got it um, finished masking it off, painted both sides. And now we're going to actually do the rivet itself. And I'm going to do that right in here like that. We'll do the inside here. But before we do that, I want to show you that I made a, uh, just a plastic piece of, uh, I don't know, it was like a cookie cover or something, plastic piece. But I got, I got a, um, a, what do they call these? A hole, hole cutter? A reamer? Yeah, reamer. Whatever. Then I measured off some, uh, some you know distances here and then I just use the reamer to ream out the holes and to get them the same the same width I just I just taped it with a piece of tape like this around and then on the thing here I just reamed it out until I got to the tape and stopped reamed this out until I got to the tape that way they all turn out close to the same size I'm dropping everything on the ground today okay so that's how I got my holes that I'm going to be going to be using. Now, this 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 one was made for my F22, so it's not it's not a good uh, measurement for these. So I'm just going to be using them maybe one by one or two by two. But I'm putting a lot more rivets on this um, plane here. So let's see what we got. If I go, I can't. If I go two and one in the middle. They're really far on the edge, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna scoot them, I'm gonna scoot them in. And do, I'm just gonna hit it real lightly with black. Right there, and I'll bring this one down, get that one real lightly, and then I'm gonna try to just stick one right in the middle. Like that. That's not perfectly centered, but maybe if I, if I catch it with this side, be all right. Another one there. Bring this down. Let's get one right there. I'm gonna try to get one in the middle here. Okay. So um, just circles right there. Okay. Now next part I do is we're going to if the sun if the sun is coming in this direction, you know it's hard to do with a plane because there's no. Uh, you know, it could be turned any other anyway. So what I'm going to do is act like the sun's always coming from the front of the plane back this way. So if it if the sun comes in this way and the the rivets are punched into the metal like this, there's going to be a shadow first and then a highlight. So we're going to take the black and make the shadow on the upper end like this. 
Get a shadow on this side. Get a shadow on this side, just like that. I'm gonna do that. Halfway around. I'm using the black halfway around. I don't know how well that's showing up. And I'm, I'm trying to make them a little bit darker here so you can kind of see. What's going on here? So that'll be punched through that side. Now I'm going to switch over to my white. And we're going to do the the bottom side. The sun's coming in, it's punched down, so you're going to get a highlight on the back side there. Now this is not looking good at all because this is where that tape was I was talking about. Well, let's just do what we can. Yeah, that doesn't... The idea is to get the white underneath, but it's looking like hell because of the way that the uh, that the uh, tape screwed up the thing. You saw the other side. The other side come out. It'll come out good over on the ends. So I'm going to go back, back to my black, and then I'm going to go over it. We're going to hit those uh, hit those circles again. They got washed out. Trouble is finding them. Close enough. Let's find that one. Close enough. Where's this one? I can't even see this one. Where, where did she go? I'll guess on that one. That eh, come out pretty good. Let's try this one. Good. Good. That's good. Yeah, they're off. That's okay. But, I mean, I don't know if you can see it on there. You can get the general idea that it's kind of tucked, bowed down like this. And then for a final, a final step that kind of pops it out a little bit, as you go back to your white, I want to make sure that's dry. You go back to your white, and we're going to highlight just the top of the rivet because the rivets the rivet is bowed over like this and the sun's coming this way. all right next step i like to do is to get the uh the sparkle off of the rivet itself since the sun's coming this way we get the top of this with just a little bit of white give it come kind, of kind of a reflective look it makes it more even more 3d -ish. sometimes they come out good sometimes you just gotta be happy with what you got. Yep. Okay, that one didn't come out too good. All right. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Those are all right for what they are. But let's move on to over here. We can get better, better ones over here. But that's okay. That'll that'll do for what it is. Okay. Starting in on the wing here, let's see what kind of measurement this thing will give us. Look at, I might be able to get it right there. I'm going to go with that right there. Let's move it in a little bit. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Let's go and hit it like this. In between everything, give it more rivets. Like that. Oh, it's all off, but you know what? It's going to be kind of like that, that weathered beaten look. Let's hit one up here. About in the middle. One in the middle here. Okay, I'm going to lay these all down here. Both sides. And then we'll come back with some shadowing and whatnot. Okay, got all of the rivets laid out. Um, now what I'm going to do is lay some shadow on the tops of them all the way around. So I'll probably uh, just do this one in, in fast motion here. And i got to deal with this tripod, so let's, let's give it a try here. Ready? Okay, ready? Go.
I, so I did lay down all the black on top, shadowy shadows. And next we are going to use the white to get that, um, catching that highlight. Let me see, let me get another towel here. All right. So let's begin with this. Going fast motion, ready, hit it. Again, now we're going to go over it with the hole stencil, my black, and then the hole stencil over all the dots. So let's get started. Ready? Go! All right, we got the shadows. We got we redid the uh, rivets on there. Now we will add the white highlight on the top. Give me the white. White is always a pain in the butt to work with. See if we can do be able, see if we can do okay with it. Now we're gonna do each and every one of these. So we'll go for high speed motion right about now. All right, there we go, we got it. Now to do the rest of the plane. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in to see if we can get kind of what is going on here. Okay, there we go. We did that whole back end. Now for the whole rest of the plane, top and bottom. Yeah. Say goodbye, Vandy. Goodbye.